Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger Boats and Lance Truck Campers. Can you see this big beauty behind me? This is Lance's new 2022 Lance 1172. It is the first one that we've actually received here on the lot. Uh, it comes in weighing about 49.62 dry. Uh, not dry, that's wet. So you got 4,962 pounds wet weight and then about 4,558 pounds dry. There we go, I got it right this time. But uh, anyways, you're definitely in Dooley ter territory with this, so you're gonna need either, you know, Ford F-350, 450, Dodge, Chevy, GMC, 3500, long bed. Uh, is plenty enough truck to haul this right here. But uh, just looking around the outside, I can already tell that they've gone a little bit different with their accent colors. You got white on black. Um, get you a closer look here. So you got darker graphics for sure. You got black accented uh, covers on this side and uh, the other side. That's for your refrigerator and everything. We'll get to that here in a second. But also they've switched to this Europane or Thermopane window style like your 650s and 960s had uh, in 2021. So they've gone from that slick. Here, I'll just have to show you. They've gone from this style to that style which i i actually prefer these because you can actually kick these out uh as far as you want to whereas those only kick out a few inches that's what my 975 has anyways we'll walk on down the side of this got the swing out brackets for the fat butt to park underneath there you got your lance plug here we installed the truck side here at the dealership that's lance's own little wiring harness deal they got um, all electric jacks run all four corners. Those are now standard for 2022 models, no longer an add-on. And then we got our patio lights, all that standard for 2022 where that used to be an option. A couple storage compartments in this slide out. You have a total of two slide outs on the Lance 1172 by the, by the way. They are insulated as well, and you got a little magnetic strip up there holding it up. <clears throat> Awning slide out covers, that is still an option, but this customer wanted them, so they got them. All right, we'll take a trip underneath the camper here for a second. I recommend doing all your campground setup while you have it on the truck and slide out in so you don't knock your noggin on this little slide out here getting up. But that's where our city water connection's at. This is our black water flush. And then we got our 30 amp plug in right here. So like I said, all your little campground connections are gonna be on this side. Move on over. And this is where our dump station's at. So we got liquid waste, body waste. Your liquid waste is gonna be uh, gray water, like your shower, uh, sink water, all that good stuff. Body waste is when you make a trip to the toilet. Both of those are 35 gallons. None of that has changed from 2021 to 2022. So you still got 35 gallon tank capacities on both. And then a 42 gallon fresh water tank. So pretty sizable tanks, enough to get the job done. Uh, let's see, fresh water tank drains over here to your far left. Uh, cold and hot water lines uh, right beside each other here. That's where you drain them outdoor shower for all my guys that like to take a shower outside or girls uh oh yeah whoops main power cutoff and uh parking satellite connections right here the owning generator 2500 uh, runs on propane and is an added option uh, you can start it from inside the camper or take this cover off and start it from right out here Whatever you want to do. All right, so like I said, we got two kickouts on this one. Uh, awning covers over both. So you don't have to get up there and sweep off the sticks, limbs, and leaves every time you roll these things in. Docking lights. And okay, here's one thing that I did notice right here that's a pretty big change. You see this? All right, this is 2022. 2022 walk on over here with me this is a 2021 lance what do you see there what what did y'all notice 
Looks like uh, we deleted a window. I don't know why. Maybe, you know, this new company that they're getting these windows from don't have something like that. That'd probably be my guess. But uh, anyways, that's one of the major things that I noticed on the exterior. But I haven't really got to spend a whole lot of time with this camper yet. I decided to let you guys see it as fast as I could. So here's your pointless sewer drain holder. And then you have this massive storage bin uh, on the back here. And again, you probably would like to utilize this while it's on the truck and the slide out is in. But that is a pretty sizable storage space and every space of storage matters when it comes to truck camping. I've quickly figured that out as I've got my own, so. But yeah, so that was the driver's side and rear. Um, then we're on the campground side here that I call it. We're four seasons certified. Uh, we have the heated basement, which gives us uh, heat or supplies heat to all of our tanks and lines. Um, and as well as ducted heat to the compartments and stuff too. So that's neat. And this is now standard. Four season, all weather package is no longer an option. It's standard on the 825 and up. Got us a power awning. Uh, it has the auto wind sensing added to it. So the little guy will roll itself back in if it feels like it's too windy outside. Has a really nice LED strip at the end of it. Really lights it up at night. It's proven. I've definitely used mine. And it's black now, so that's cool. I like I like the accents. The black on white. I think it looks great. A little grab handle and a swing out handle here. Keyless entry is now standard. Uh, let's see. Let's move on. Alright, we got our outdoor speakers so we can piss off all of our neighbors. Two 30-pound propane tanks. And I'll say, on my Lance, I used it for a week straight. Uh, furnace running on it and the refrigerator running on it. And I only ate up one tank and mine only has 20. So I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, little outlets on the exterior here. Uh, this is where you fill up your fresh water tank. Again, that's 42 gallon capacity. Get that clip, yep, there we go. All right, so as you see here, that's our water pump. I have not dewinterized this thing yet. I haven't even cleaned it up yet. I just wanted to get this video out here so y'all can see it. I know y'all been waiting. Um, but like I said, there's the ducted heat to every all the compartments and all that good stuff. But this is where you would winterize it when you're winterizing. You see that pink stuff in there? You just put that in the pink stuff and pump it on through. I've actually got a recent video on that too so uh, this is where you service your hot water heater comes with a little nut to put on the end of that it is a 1 16th so make sure you have that handy if you're wanting to uh, put it on or remove it but that uh pretty much sums out sums up the outside give you all another little look here Still have the TPO front nose cap. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go to the inside. I know y'all want to see it. All right, so prior to making our way in, you have a screen right here. Block out all your peeping toms. Uh, let's see, there's our code. And then you have a screen door here, which you just pop open and close as such. Well. There we go. All right, so also right here is where your batteries go. So you got a battery for two, or I mean, you got a compartment for two batteries. Uh, you can get the Lance campers with the lithium batteries pre-installed. Um, if not, they come with flooded batteries. You can do AGM, sealed, whatever you want to do. Whatever route best suits you. But take a look at this. This is the new interior color, the new floors. This is going to be your Grayson interior, which uh, took the place of platinum. Uh, you have 
platinum, bronzite, and lapis to choose from. Bronzite's going to be kind of your brownish color, and then lapis is going to be like your midnight blue color that replaces the royal interior from 2021. But yeah, when I opened this door up earlier, I saw this wall and I was like, something's missing there. And it's that window. So I was able to confirm that. Cool. All right, so here's our couch. Uh, my, I got my remote sitting on the couch here. That remote controls all your jacks, your side slide, and then you control your rear slide here right at the entry. So you have this on the wall here. And then all of your unlabeled switches right there that's going to be for your left patio light right patio light docking lights this right here is going to be uh, some storage put some potato chips and stuff in there <clears throat> same thing down here for all your potato chips this dinette does make into a bed and you give me one second and I'll show it kicked out all right here is our sofa made into a bed that is 36 by 59 inches so if you have kids that go with you they can sleep on that or anybody under 59 inches an adult you don't care about that goes along with you they sleep right there all right all right, so I got the sofa made back. It does have kickouts on it. Kick out just like that. Same with this side. This is what I was talking about, how the windows kick out so far. Like your other ones were about right here and that's all you had. But this lets a lot more ambient lighting in as well as draft. Here we go. Here's our dinette. Uh, you can also fold this down into a bed uh, this would give you about a 44 by 72 inch bed when it's fully made. Uh, all this, all you do is lower this down and then use your uh, cushions as filler. You've got storage underneath the seats here. And I'd like to give a lesson on how to open these. All right, so you don't hold this down and pull. All you do, it's really simple. You hit that button and then pull out. Uh, here's us another kick out window and I wanted to have the bug shade down Well, I, I don't know they call them day and night shades. I guess this is the day shade. I call it the bug shade It keeps all of your bugs from entering while you got your windows kicked out all of your windows will have that And then again, this is the new platinum interior Looks real nice All right, we're gonna move on to the kitchen area now Here in the kit kitchen you've got a extra little kick out there for some more countertop space and these countertops have me fooled i thought that they were like granite but they i was like no that's going to be too heavy so this has got to be like a i don't know imitation granite but it's really slick and it feels real nice i like that it's glossy and everything shines and looks great all right so this customer ordered this one with the convection oven over the microwave and oven uh, combo. So you can either get it with a convection oven, which this one has, then it frees up more space up here, or you can get the microwave and the microwave will be installed here over the range and then you'll have you an oven also. That's how it comes standard. The convection oven is an upgrade. But uh, I don't know if y'all noticed that. This is new from 2021 to 22. Uh, these handles right here they actually they're good handles i like that engineering props to you or design whoever come up with that props to you uh all right so there's our key rack holder y'all just pretend like you didn't see that all right we've got us uh, some switches over here for our awning on the side turn the power on extend let off and it extends uh, you don't have to sit there and hold your finger on it and as long as you got that power on it'll roll itself back in if it gets too windy got your awning light switch here and like i was saying about this you got all this cabinet storage here here oh and that one's got a shelf in it how cute uh this is a open sink not the separated version some people like it some people don't 
three burner stove top i went over you quite a bit of storage down here for all your cleaning equipment towels whatever you want to throw in there try to get this guy out of the way there we go got some more pull out drawers right here and for everybody that doesn't want to see my pull out drawer uh, demonstration you can skip along but pretty strong pull out game there all right so this is going to be your panel for your solar this one does have one solar panel on it that's an added option um, you can get up to two my personal camper actually has two um, but anyways you can set these to charge lithium uh, sealed flooded agm batteries whatever and it'll tell you how much charge going to it and everything this is going to be where uh, your kind of control panel where you uh, control your water pump water heater on gas or electric you can check your battery levels here fresh water black water or gray water and if you weren't listening at the beginning of the video fresh water is 42 gallons and then both are gray and black are 35 gallons like I was saying outside you can start the generator from inside here but that's uh pretty much sums it all up over here I did skip the fantastic fan we've got one of those installed uh, let's see TV this is on a swing out let's see if I can unlock it real quick with one hand and pull out hang on no I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that anyways this does swing out swings towards the bed watch it from the dinette or swing it towards the couch area very convenient to have it on a swivel like that uh, and I definitely think that's a great feature so uh, we got magazine racks here you can throw your DVDs and stuff in there if you want to uh, this is new right here the AC unit this is the I believe it's 11 uh, let's see the 11m Coleman series um, if I'm not mistaken this had the built-in heat strip on it not completely positive on that so don't hold me to it uh, we've got a pretty sizable refrigerator here. It is a separated fridge and freezer. It's three-way. Works on DC, AC, and gas. I run mine off of AC and uh, gas. I don't ever use DC just because of how much uh, it drains the batteries. Alrighty. Here is the dry bathroom. Separated uh, shower and toilet. Your 975, 1062, and 1172 are, on, are the only uh, current production models right now that have the dry bathroom option. It's pretty roomy in there. Again, here's my pull-out drawer demonstration. There's where they hide your toilet paper. That doesn't come with the camper, though. If you're wondering towards the end of the video i'm going to mention the price i don't know if anybody's actually watching right now all right so here's our camper queen mattress not camper queen mattress it's a queen size mattress it's a 60 by 80 uh queen size mattress they're very comfy i like them got us a closet over here i'll open that up and let you see inside there's a tv box comes with the clothes rod inside already little uh, flip up storage compartment there and on the opposite side <coughs> pre-mounted for uh, an additional TV AC outlets DC outlets USB outlets the whole nine yards and then uh, this one also has the auto lo locating satellite system also that's a added feature that's not standard there's uh, the heat where the heat comes out. A little storage compartment here and here. And then a skylight so you can see the stars at night. Not really. You can't really see the stars because your head's up there. I noticed that in my 975, but it is what it is, I guess. One thing that I don't like is this radio does not play Blu-ray. 
I was wanting to watch my Santa Claus movie the other night in my camper, and I couldn't watch it because it was Blu-ray. So that that sucks. But anyways, this is the 2022 1172. It is my first one here on the lot. Uh, as of now, it's taken. But anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tour. That does complete our tour on the 2022 Lance 1172. And like I promised during the video, I'm going to tell you how much this thing costs. They start out for 2022 at $65,168, and you can build them up to about 82. This one right here retails around 78 and some change. Um, they're pretty pricey, but I mean, they should be when it comes to build quality because I mean, I've seen some of these other campers and they shouldn't be anywhere near near ours in price. So, uh, well built camper. I like what they've done with the 2022 models. Uh, as far as they have changed some things as far as the interior colors there's mike <laughs> anyways uh yeah so they have changed a few things as far as like deleting a window uh changing the exterior colors going white on black i think that's slick and then uh of course all your interior colors and stuff like that so anyways if you enjoyed the video go ahead and leave me a thumbs up uh, lets youtube know that i might be enjoyable to watch might know what i'm talking about i don't know if i do or not but uh anyways uh, if you have any questions go ahead and comment in the comments below or you can call me at 423-892-6272 email me at sales at epbfi.com all that will be in the description below so you can find it there um as well uh with the specs and all that good stuff so Again, that was 2022 Lance 1172. Uh, dry weight's going to be around 4,500 pounds. I think it was like 4,558. Wet weight, you're going to be 4,962 pounds, I believe. Uh, so you're definitely in dual or dual rear wheel territory, and that's what you'll need to haul it. But anyways, that was 2022 Lance 1172. I don't know why I'm rambling on. Y'all take care, have a great day, and I'll catch you on the next one.